Hello, my name is Roger Coghill. This video is an attempt to solve a big mystery on the island of Madeira concerning a hunt for the Great White. Not the Great White Shark, but the Great White Butterfly, sometimes called the Cabbage White or the Large White. And this is the mystery. Now, in Britain, the Cabbage White is a pest. It's everywhere, very common. And uh, there are two of them. There's a big one and a small one. The big one is called the Large White. That's got some black spots on it. And the small one is called the small white, would you believe? And they're both very common in Britain. And the small white is also very common in Madeira and all over Europe. You see them on every day in summer and most of the year in Madeira. Um, but the large white has disappeared a few years ago. There aren't any. People are saying it's extinct on Madeira, and this is an important and very common butterfly all around Europe, but not on this island. The last time anybody saw a large white butterfly was in 1987 or thereabouts, and it was in a region of the island in the northwest around the valley of the Ribeira de Janela very remote valley, beautiful, and very heavily wooded with Lowry silver. And that was, well, since 1987, no one's seen one anywhere. So the curiosity is, why has this butterfly disappeared? We have several explanations, and there's also supposed to be a Madeiran version of this butterfly, a variety called Pieris brassicae wallastoni. Now this wallastoni is uh, and the name of a very famous naturalist called Thomas Vernon Wollaston, who lived in the Victorian era. And um, he was a very tall man, he was six foot seven, but he was had very frail health, problem with his respiration. And so every winter he had to leave Britain and go to a warm temperate climate, or even a subtropical. And so it was that he often came to Madeira. And while he was there, when he wasn't in bed, because he was in bed a lot of the time, uh, he went out camping in the wild and amassed an enormous collection of insects and butterflies. And when he died, his widow gave that collection to the British Museum where it sat for some time. Until one day, one of the curators there, or a sub-curator called Butler, uh, decided to try to catalogue the collection and in it he found large white butterflies. Now by that time Thomas Wollaston had died eight years before and so it wasn't Wollaston who said this butterfly is different from the European varieties but it was this sub-curator Butler and so in 1880 something he categorised this butterfly as being a different one and therefore gave it the name Pieris brassicae wallastoni to distinguish it from other cabbage whites. Now, I have some suspicions about that because the background to Butler was that he'd applied for a promotion and been turned down and I think in a way he had a grudge to bear in the sense that he hadn't been promoted. And so when he categorised this white blood butterfly, the cabbage white, as being different 
he felt that that would give him some credibility. Now, very kindly, uh, Branca, Blanca Huertas, the uh, present uh, lady curator of butterflies at the British Museum, allowed me to go and take a look at this um, Wollaston butterfly and photograph it, and I did. And what I looked at seemed to me to be no different from the other butterflies, except perhaps that it was a bit faded and a bit yellow, as it might have been if it hadn't been properly looked after for eight years. And although it was still intact, it looked to me as if it had not really been any different. Anyway, so that's a bit of background. So the question first one has to ask is, was this butterfly ever really a different variety? Or was it just the result of uh, a grudge? Anyway, that apart, where is this butterfly now? And why has it disappeared? Even if it was the same as all the others, there still aren't any on Madeira Island. So what we've done is we've set up a base camp near the Ribeira Brava, consulting all the scientific uh, studies of uh, sightings uh, going way back 150 years. And our video is about our hunt for the large white butterfly, the cabbage white, the Pieris brassicae wallastoni. If we find it, we will then be able to tell for sure whether it is a real change in variety, change in species, or not. And if we don't find it, well, we'll tell you. Thanks for listening so far. Now I'll start the video. Bye now.